Boom. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a five inch cordless bandsaw. I love these tools. I think they're amazing. I have the smaller one, which is hanging up right here. I've had this one for a real long time. So you can kind of see the difference. Now we've got this one. So pretty sweet. These are great tools to have. This one is amazing because it's got a five inch opening. So you can cut all kinds of plumbing, teleposts, screw, you know, screw piles, anything like that. It just, it handles it amazing. Um, to change the blade, you pull this lever here. I'm not gonna change the blade for, a, just cause I don't feel like it, but you pull this lever and it releases the tension and then you can take the blade right out. Okay. So very quick, toolless blade change. And then we've got an Allen key right here. And that's to assist in uh, taking this sucker apart. So let's give some dimensions. All right. We've got five inches across the front here. And then our overall depth is about four and seven eighths. But then, yeah, I guess you'd be cutting pretty straight. So four and seven eighths, four and three quarters. Yeah, I'd say four and three quarters. It's variable speed. So one through five. Okay, the variable speed is not in the trigger. It's right here, a nice little dial. Really great rubber over mold. Your battery mounts on the top here. And just some specs for you. This is the DCS374 and it cuts 150 meters per minute, right? Or, or 490 feet per minute. The handle itself, we can adjust. We just have to unscrew this and then you can adjust the handle to different angles. Okay. That's pretty cool. Tighten the sucker back up. Got a nice metal hook on the back. This little guy has that too. Nice metal hook. It works really well. Really, really handy tool to have. Make sure you guys subscribe because we've got a lot of cool tools coming up in the next, you know, four to eight weeks. You can see them all behind me here. I don't need to describe because I have been in all my videos, but there's a lot of tools here that we just got them. We're excited to review them. So stay tuned, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notify bell, but we're going to demo this. All right, let's cut some pipe. We're going to start off easy. We're going to do some PVC, cut ourselves some four inch. All right. Now, normally I'd like to have a bigger piece I'd like to clamp it a little, but just bear with me. I'm going to switch sides here and I'm going to muscle this thing so I can cut it. So there is a your trigger lock right here, just like all your tools. And then you just press this side and now we're ready, ready to go. We've got lights right here. Nice led light illuminating the area. You can see on my hand, it's pretty sweet. So I'm going to cut this with one hand because I got to hold the pipe with my left. Normally I like to cut with two hands, be a lot more accurate, but this is just a quick little demo guys. So wish me luck. All right. So you want to put your, your edge right against your pipe. So it doesn't run on you. Pretty sweet. Cut it like butter. All right. Let's do another one. <laughs> it's getting crazy in here. It's actually really late and I'm tired. It's like 10 o'clock at night and we're doing this. So, and I haven't had dinner yet, but we got to get these reviews done. Hey, I was playing the violin. Oh, Tiffany's playing me a little violin. All right. Now 
This is a telepost from a reno. I don't know. I have tons of these. Let me just measure the gauge on that. It looks like one eighth. It's not the thickest, but this tape is so beaten up. Yeah, we're cutting one eighth material here. And the pipe is two and three quarters, just a hair over. So let's cut this. All right, you ready? Boom. No problem. I'm constantly using pipes like this for renovations. Uh, you know, when people want to open up their basement and we're sticking in like a larger LVL, get rid of that old two by 10, pull out a couple posts. I always need to cut these down. So having a tool like this is amazing because we can just hack this off in no time at all. And you don't need to use cutting oil or anything like that. It's just done. I love it. Let's see if we can find something else to cut. I think I got some half inch plate steel. If you want to just zoom in on that and I'll grab it. Okay. Here's a big chunk of steel. I'm going to clamp this down. I don't need it running around on me. So. And reach. Nope. Slight adjustment. This one I'm definitely putting on my earplugs and my glasses. I'm just going to cut a corner off of this because I am using this stuff. And this is 3 8 not half inch. This is 3 8 steel. Okay. So let's do a cut. I don't know. We'll do something like that. Just take a corner out of this. Gotta go hair more on this side. It starts to walk. There we go. Nothing fancy, guys. Just wanted to show you. Yeah, you can cut through that, no problem. Okay? Cuts like butter. So much better than using a torch or a sawzall. I guess that would be what most people would use, or even a hacksaw. Um, these bandsaws are just amazing. And if you've got both of these in your arsenal, really nothing can stop you, right? You can cut pipe. I use this one a lot for angle iron, you know, just little stuff, a um, little bit of pipe. It's just, it's handy. It doesn't have a huge mouth on it. We did a review on this. We'll leave a, a tag there for it. But this, this one has an opening of uh, two and five eighths, and this one's five inches. So I love these tools. I just think they're so cool. Uh, again, this is the DeWalt 20 volt max 
XR band saw. All right, guys, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit that notify bell. Till next time, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.